so this is a this is the next lecture in this series and this lecture is we will look into what electrical power is all about and how to calculate the electrical energy price so it is assumed that you could have gone through the previous lectures to get a basic understanding of what Ohm's law was all about and just the previous uh, lecture to get into the idea of the SI units and etc of the electrical energy but even if you have a basic understanding of these things you do not need to refer uh, the previous lecture and you can directly refer so the Ohm, Ohm's law can be written in the triangle form as VIR which which says that V is equal to I cross R volts in any circuit and this is for DC circuits which we are considering so we are not considering the current to be alternating in this case uh, or not considering there to be a inductive or capacitive component so the equation for power for the inductive and the capacitive component when it will come you will have to consider something like power factor into consideration so when we will look into the AC circuit so we will look into that but the R is equal to V by I was the basic equation of ohms so the equation of power is equal to V I so this is this power in the electrical circuit can be given by the equation P is equal to VI for resistive circuits so we are considering the case of resistive circuits only right now so P, P is equal to VI watts again there is uh, multiple ways if you are sub substituting the uh, I from here so I is equal to V by R so if you are substituting that the equation becomes V square by R watts so it's again possible to write P is equal to V by I or it's if you're substituting the value of I as V by R and if you're substituting the value of V as I R then the equation will become I square R watts. So that's the three possible equations of power. So why it's advantageous to have three equations is that it's possible to calculate power without knowing the resistance only if you know the voltage across voltage coming to the circuit applied to the circuit and the current flowing in the circuit and again if you don't know the current it's possible to calculate the power if you know the resistance of the circuit and again if you don't know the voltage applied to the circuit and you know only the current and the resistance then it's possible to calculate the power so there is a three important equation or the three equations for power and this is only for the resistive circuit so we are not considering the equation inductance or capacitance but the same equations can be applied to the uh, inductive and the capacitive circuits when, while they are dealing with the AC power so you will only need to consider the power factor and the equation will be modified slightly so that you can see in the further lectures when we will be dealing with that but and the next is the electrical energy so energy is equal to power into time and the unit of energy is joules so energy is equal to power is we are considering the power as P then it will be time T and again it's possible to give the it the unit in watt second or watt hour and when you are dealing with the energy consumed in circuit the unit is usually in kilowatt hour since the power consumed would be large so it is said that 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 unit of electricity so that's all and we will see how this can be useful to calculate so if I will just take the example 
So taking the example, what could be found useful to you is that you are having a, a shop or an office for example and this is an example or a practice problem so your supply to the shop is 100 amperes you are taking in 100 amperes based on the equipments which are installed and current is drawn from a supply of 240 volts and suppose you are using the office for 30 hours or 20 hours per week and one unit of electricity in your area is one unit of electricity is equal to 10 rupees per unit so now you have to calculate the cost of electricity so we are not uh, taking into uh, any other additional factors like we are just using the simple method of converting it to kilowatt hour and multiplying it by the cost per unit so they are not taking any constant uh, factor which could be used by some of the power companies when they are or the electricity board while they are computing for the power we are using the simple kilowatt hour into cost per unit and the power in this case would be the power you have i and you have v so the power is equal to v into i so it's 10 ampere into 240 volt which is equal to 2400 watts so this is our power and your energy is equal to power into time so you are using this for 20 hours in a week so it is 2400 into 20 watt hour so you are getting what is known as 24 or 48000 watt hour and when you are converting that into kilowatt you will have to divide it by thousand so it becomes equal to 48 kilowatt hour and the cost of electricity of 1 kilowatt kilowatt hour is equal to 10 rupees so your cost of electricity will become 48 480 rupees simply because you are multiplying 48 into cost of electricity that was 10 rupees so it becomes 48 rupees so this is how you can compute the power and based on the energy consumed in kilowatt hour you could have so suppose some of some companies while well, they are for your electricity board or any other company which is supplying electricity could have a constant factor here for or a fixed electricity so if your monthly bill is 480 rupees for example they could bill you 100 rupees as a constant charge so your total electricity in that case becomes 580 but in this problem this is a simple problem to just demonstrate so we are not considering complex factors here another example is that you have installed a heater in your house you have installed this is a second practice problem or example problem you have installed a heater in your house so this heater is uh, having a uh, current rating of 10 ampere it's taking a 10 ampere of current and this is uh, having a resistance of resistance of 10 ohms so now you want to know how much is the electricity cost due to this heater again it's possible that the watt per hour rating of the heater is given it will be given by manufacturer
so even if that is not given and you know the current which is the heater is drawing and the resistance of the heater and your supply voltage is 240 volts so even if you don't consider the supply voltage based on this too you can calculate your power as I square R which is equal to 10 square into 10 which is equal to 1000 watts now you know the power and you are using this heater for let's say 10 or 20 hours let's say 30 hours per week 30 hours per week so so your energy becomes it's equal to 30 into the power which is equal to 1000 into 30 watt hour so this is equal to 3000 or 30000 watt hour and this when you are dividing it by 1000 you will get it is it as close to 30 or thirty kilowatt hour so your energy is equal to thirty kilowatt hour and the cost of your unit if it is ten rupees per unit then your electricity cost cost will be is equal to thirty into ten rupees which is be equal to three hundred rupees so that's how you can even calculate the electrical uh, consumption power consumption of the equipments at your home if you know the current which it is drawing or the resistance or even the watt per hour rating of the equipment is given then you can directly that watt per hour will be equal to the power rating and that you can multiply by how much hour you have used so suppose you are having a uh, equipment at your home which is rated for 1000 watt per hour so this is your iron which is you are having at your house or a room heater or a water heater which is having a rating of 1000 watt per hour and now you are using this for a week so say 20 hours or in a month for 20 hours so the your this is your power and this is your your hours which you are using so the energy will be equal to 1000 into 20 so that is equal to twenty thousand watts of power which you have used So if you are having a rating of 1000 watts it simply means that the unit is it's one unit per hour and if you are multiplying it by 20 then you are getting what is like you have used 20 units per month which you are having of the period of one month you have used it 20 hours so the if you are having it so your electricity is 5 rupees per unit then the cost is equal to 100 rupees for the specific case so this is not example it's a simple demonstration of how you can calculate by knowing the cost of electricity coming to your home 
and by knowing the watt ratings you can simply calculate how it is the cost of the usage of each of the equipment or total of the equipments of my house.